let's create this pulsing animation in Inkscape and Friction. On Inkscape, go to Document Properties and make a 500 by 500 canvas. Let's draw the rectangle and give it a dark color. And I'll draw some more rectangles to simulate a map. Control D to duplicate this. And repeat the process. I'll align this. Now let's rotate it a bit and take the pen tool and add random paths. Now select everything and go to path union. Duplicate the background rectangle. Now select the other one and go to path intersection. Now we have the map. Let's save this as a plain SVG. But before that, let's create the point and give it a blue color, duplicate it and resize it and reduce the alpha. Repeat the same process to get a pulsing effect and reduce the alpha. Now let's save this. Save as an SVG. Open up friction and create a new scene of 500 by 500 with around 100 frames. Open up the saved file and select the pen tool and let's draw a path to the point. I'll change the style, give it a 12 and change the color. Repeat this process for other parts. Now let's animate this path. Select a path and right click and select path effects and now let's add a sub path effect and I'll turn on keyframes and you can play with these values to see there will be sub paths you can adjust it to create a sub path so I'll keep the length as 10 at the 0th keyframe and go to 20th keyframe and make the max length 100 and the minimum length to 90. Now if you play back you will have a 10 length line throughout the timeline. Just like that. Now at the 21st frame let's make this 100. Now the distance will be 0. Now repeat the same process for the other paths. Now if you play back you can see an animating effect. You can move the keyframes if you want. Now select the circle. I want it to appear at this point. At the 15th frame. At the opacity to be 0 and at the 16th frame to be 100. Do the same thing for the other circles. But for the second circle, we'll also uh, animate the scale. Let's make it 0 at this point, at the 15th frame. And when it comes to 16, let's make it 1. So it will grow 
from 0 to 1 and at a later point we make it to 2 so it will keep growing and the opacity to be 0 so it will fade out while growing do the same thing for the other circle Now let's play this back. You can copy the circle keyframes and paste it in a later frame so you can duplicate the pulse effect. Let's increase the scene frame. Now copy this and paste it here. Control C and Control V. Now if you play back you can see two pulses. You can adjust the keyframes to your liking. Now let's export this. Go to Q and select the scene and select the output as an MP4 and let's render this. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.